Hello, hello, hello to all of my Taurians. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Taurus. Let's get right into it. If it is Wednesday the 29th where you are, we are now uh, officially in the first quarter moon phase in Cancer. I am talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, arenas, but anywhere in your chart, Taurus. Let's go. Um, if it is Tuesday where you are, you're still feeling the effects because as the moon becomes even more illuminated, your dreams become even more intense, your feelings become even more intense, but this time it's even double because cancer is ruled by the moon so it feels like double the emotions double the feelings your skin could be itching you could be sweating more i mean like sources trying to get everybody to detox so that you can land on the bright side of the moon so make sure you increase your water intake make sure you know you 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 are near water as much as you possibly can or even you know some people like spend times around those um those um this is nice. So um, some people spend time like you know, around those, uh, what are they, those like miniature uh, water fountains, you know, like those miniature waterfalls, not fountains, but waterfalls. Here we have the chariot card, the sun card. We also have the devil card. Mm -mm -mm. Devil is always just a mess. <laughs> so listen, somebody is operating. I, somebody is, the the enemy is trying to get somebody to, to be scared of operating in their purpose. That's what I'm seeing right here. Like the enemy is really trying to send some chills up somebody's spine, you know, to, but I do see you eventually being victorious at operating in your purpose because everything is already aligned. It's like sources like, I, I, cause I already know Taurus, it took you a long time to answer the call on your life, whoever you are. Again, this is a general reading. So take only what resonates with you. It took a while for you to answer the call in your life. You have friends to leave you behind. You have people to laugh at you and talk about you and run smear campaigns and call every kind of distraction in the world. But source is saying to you, you're in your purpose now. And so here comes the enemy. Let's see. You know, the enemy is always trying to get us to doubt source. Always, you know, you know, you're not going to get enough clients for your business. What about this new circle of people that you're around? Are they going to teach you like the old people in the past and all of that stuff, right? So, but when you're in your purpose, everything falls in line. Believe it or not, everything falls in line. You, you meet the right person. You meet the right people for your soul tribe. Your money starts to look better. All of that. So, it's always best to align yourself with the most high versus the enemy, right? The enemy is your flesh operating in fear, doubt, whatever your demons are like, you know, cause that, that old bait and switch, right? So here we have the six of cups source really wants you to operate in faith and stay as far away from anything that drains you emotionally, mentally, it doesn't matter who it is, no matter how long they've been in your life, you're not waiting for them to keep burning you before you physically say, I need to get as far away from that as humanly possible. I need to get as far away from that because again, that thing is draining me and I can't even see that I'm in, in my purpose, right? So remember, the enemy will use anybody, will use anybody. It is the author of confusion. If you are not following source within, and I'm not trying to be religious, you know, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I'm serious. If you are not following your light within, which is source, you leave yourself wide open for the enemy to just have you just like reaching for this and reaching for that and this and that and so on and so forth. You confused and don't know if you're in the right space or not. So we have the star card, the universe, we have the four of wands, we have the two of pentacles, we have the strength card, and also the eight of wands. So we got the two of pentacles. Source definitely has somebody, somebody definitely has a gift of having something to do with music, <laughs> something to do with the arts, whether you're a painter, a musician, a songwriter, you play an instrument, singing, whatever it is. Source is trying to get somebody to kind of branch out a little bit and say, you know, do something more in the arts, like something that nurtures you remember you guys are ruled by venus venus is the planet of love pleasure that includes relationships that includes music arts like come on now somebody could have a dj in them somewhere and you could be making some money from doing that or maybe you play an instrument but source needs somebody to stay laser focused like laser 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 focused and stay away from energies that are that could burn you right so 
And this one minute, some energies could feel like they're inspiring you. The next minute, you feel like you're being bullied. Those are the energies you need to stay as far away from, Taurus. Those are the energies you need to stay as far away from as humanly possible. And here we have the Four of Wands. So for somebody staying in your light, it's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted because you feel healing in your light. Now, how healed you feel when you're out in the sunlight? You know, you're drawing all... You are the sun and it's re that sun outside reflecting off your sun. You just feel like I'm just being recharged. I feel like there's a connection between me and the sun, like it's an umbilical cord. I feel like I'm getting everything I need from the sun, right? So that's what I'm seeing for somebody. And here we have the star card. And so the star card is hope. There's bliss. There's optimism moving forward, you know, um, and something. So it could feel like somebody has an angel on one shoulder about a situation or a devil on the other shoulder about some situation. So remember, the enemy always wants you to look at the worst possible thing. Like, you know what? This is where source is saying, weigh out the good and the bad. If it's a person, place, or thing and decide how you want to proceed. See, decide how you want to proceed. The universe is helping you with something. The universe is trying to help you with something. So again, like I said, somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted, you know, just because of how you approach something. But sources saying stay away from anything that causes you to get that angry and, and, and frustrated with something, right? Just give it some time. If it's somebody that you're reconnecting with to some, to any way, shape, form, or fashion, let me see if I saw such and such card. Okay. If it's somebody that you are reconnecting with or if it's coming back up in your mind, remember this. So... We are we are in a first quarter moon phase in a and cancer, which is the mother of the zodiac, and it's also the money sign, right? So there's this real serious need for nurturing both personally and professionally, right? This need for nurturing. That's why I gave you all the questions. But uh, more importantly, we have a um, full moon in Libra, and Libra is about relationships. It's about, we're not talking about any Libras that you know. Libra, like you, is ruled by Venus. So it's it's creating a love that you, I mean, creating a life that you love both personally and professionally and a life that you're pleased with both personally and professionally. But it also deals with music, arts, relationships, all of that. Like basically trying to make you have a great life. So even if it's you reconnecting with somebody you were married with, whether professionally or, or um or, you know, in business and there's kids involved or a child involved or new kid, whatever involved, source is saying to you, approach it in a very warm manner. If there, ha if there has to be some kind of interaction, approach it in a warm way, not in a blowtorching way that's offensive to anybody or that could backfire or, you know, that kind of, you feel like, okay, I'm drained. You don't have, somebody's overthinking something, right? And so things are going to happen very fast for you. You know, um, you know, you may just, like I said, there could be some kind of warm interaction, but nothing beyond that. Like just taking in dosages, right? Just like, or if you feel like, okay, I'm, I, I, yeah, I feel like I need some more time. I need to stay as far away from certain energies, then do what you need to do. But source is saying, don't overwhelm yourselves with things. Instead, put it towards something where you feel like, you know, I can, maybe you need to listen to some music. You know, and to kind of sort of, and, and the music would be, you know, chakras music, and by the way, just in case somebody wants to know, maybe you need to listen to, because I'm seeing right now, I'm seeing a lot of fire energy and fire energy is connected to your solar plexus chakra. Listen to the lower chakras music It's free. It's on YouTube. Listen to it. Your root chakra, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus chakra, get those things in alignment so that you don't feel drained or frustrated. You feel confident. You know, when your solar plexus chakra is in alignment, you feel more confident, you feel empowered, you feel like you have clarity of thought, um, you feel inspired, you know, those kind of things. Uh, so, you know, this is where somebody got to kind of break out that stubborn streak. You know, somebody, somebody has to break out of that and somebody has to learn how to initiate change. This whole cycle is about initiating change, moving from one phase to the next you know, smoothly, right? Everything doesn't have to be a, 
uh, a thunderstorm going from one change of your life to the next. It doesn't have to be intense where it's just like, okay, I've got to be struck by lightning before I, I start to move on. Here we have the world card. The world card represents fulfillment. It represents fulfilling, like closing out that cycle. Like, oh, okay, here we go. Closing out cycles like airtight. If that's how that's who I used to be, let me let me let me start to warm up to initiating change. Like let me warm up to that. Okay, the Knight of Wands came out twice. We have the Six of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands came out twice, the Death card, we have the Chariot card, and also the Page of Wands. Somebody who died is trying to encourage somebody to, you know, toss out all the bitterness. Somebody who died, somebody in your life who died, it could be a mother or a grandmother, is really and um, really trying to help somebody toss out all the past bitterness, all of this fire up under somebody. This is a lot of fire here. All of this fire, you know, up under somebody. When you think about you putting fire under water, those emotions, those feelings, all of that creativity, your joy, all of that evaporates. No matter what happened in the past, remember, sources saying to you, close out that cycle. It's a you. It's a new you. Something is going to be fulfilled. Like close it out, right? Close out this cycle, right? Stay laser focused. Stay laser, stay laser focused. Um, and, you know, toss out all that bitterness. Toss out all, any kind of bitterness. The, char the uh, chariot card came out again. Chariot card lets me know that somebody's going to be victorious in their personal and their professional life in terms of like your emotions and also, you know, making new money coming across your life. Somebody just has to be operating, um, operating faith. And it's going to happen fast for you both personally and professionally. Like I said before, all somebody has to do is stay away from like becoming easily enraged. That bullying you could cause you to come across as bullying and like can cause some people to just have like lower posture or self-esteem or could put some fire up under you and make you angry and start talking about people. Like Source wants all of that gone because again, here we have um, the page of wands and there's some new inspiration coming through. So the new inspiration literally could be you having a dream, a very, you know, like you could be having a dream about a loved one who transitioned and saying, hey, get rid of all of that. Get rid of all of that. Source has been working on everybody. Everybody has evolved. That's what Source is trying to say. Is like everybody has evolved. You got the universe working with you. So if you're you're scared about something and it's causing you to act some kind of way, Source is like, come on now. Come on now. Some of you all have friends that you've had to leave behind. Um, business partners that you had to leave behind. Ex-friends, ex-lovers, ex-partners, uh, spouses, whatever you had to leave behind. And so sources like the energy that you're giving off when you interact with these people, it's going to be felt immediately. So, okay, just the intensity of it, right, is going to be felt immediately. So pay attention. Pay attention to the energy. Pay attention to energy because, again, sources is trying to, if you're blocked with all this rage and anger and frustration, all this fire down here, source wants somebody to really work on their solar plexus chakra. Even if somebody says something to you in the past that calls you feel like, you know what, I felt like there's no mental clarity. I was misreading something, you know, or I felt I didn't feel personally powerful. I didn't feel um, I didn't feel confident. I didn't feel empowered. I felt drained around certain energy sources saying build up your solar plexus chakra and keep it positive. Keep it keep it positive. And so you have a loved one, like I said, who is transitioned over, who is saying to you, take a fresh cup of water, fresh cup of creativity, fresh cup of joy, fresh cup of... Because somebody's emotionally going to feel like they have hit the jackpot. We have the Emperor card. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the, um, the uh, Five of Wands. And we have the Ten of Cups. So somebody, um, so the, the new inspiration coming across somebody's life could be a new love, could be coming across somebody's life, but you don't want to bank on somebody, a new love helping you to get over an old love. You don't want to bank on that. Source is trying to tell you everything that you need is within, or you don't want to bank on a new friend helping you to get over some old friends that could have burned you in the past or drained or frustrated you. Source wants you to find getting your strength from within. And I'm telling you the answer right here, solar plexus chakra music, right? So that you don't have to feel like, okay, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to come in contact with some energies and I'm emotionally drained. I'm, I'm just, I'm tired. You know, it's just, the energy is draining. So um, somebody could be dealing with an Aries. Somebody could be dealing with a, um, a Cancer. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio. 
There could be a Leo somewhere involved. There could be a Capricorn involved. There could be an Aquarius involved. But Source is saying to you to listen to Lower Chakra's music because I do see you being victorious over your own um your own ideas, you know, your your own renewal of manifestation, your own growth, your own communication, your own, you know, self-expression. I see somebody has some control over themselves, like right there at the core. Your solar plexus chakra is a core like that. You need to do core strengthening exercise or some kind of sunbathing or some kind of something where you are getting recharged. Also, another thing that you can do, another ritual is tossing those emotions into a um into a, a burning bowl releasing it like i release it in love i release it all in love and i do see somebody being able to do that and not letting their their demons irritate them you know their demons from the past irritate you and um that's where the breakthrough is going to come in for somebody emotionally somebody's going to feel like a, a huge weight has been lifted but again if you're waiting for somebody else to come through and save you from you know, not getting angry about something or whatever, you know, source is saying to you, you got it within you to save yourselves. And like I said before, you have a loved one who has transitioned. It could be a mother or a grandmother that's coming through saying you're about to have a breakthrough. All you need to do is ask yourself, why am I giving so much power to something that, um, why am I giving so much power to bitterness? Why am I giving so much anger and frustration thinking that somebody had the power to manipulate me? Like I'm not smart enough, you know, like in other words, source wants the warmth to come out and not any bitterness or anger about a situation to come out. Let's get ready to close this out. Let's get ready to close this out, Taurus. Let us get ready to close this out. Let's get ready to close it out. Let's get ready to close it out. So there can be quite a few people, um, you know, involved in, you know, both personally and professionally, that is what Source is saying to you, just learn how to protect your inner child. Learn how to protect your inner child because it looks like, it looks like a lot of frustration and anger came because somebody may have felt vulnerable. Somebody may have felt unprotected, whether it was from you or you may have felt unprotected by them. And that could have caused the anger and rage and dislike and frustration or whatever Taurus, like somebody could have felt like you didn't protect them. Um, if you, if you're the guy and you were with somebody, they could have felt like, okay, you, you were too in your feminine energy and they didn't feel protected. Um, yeah, you'd better not. So this is an Oracle card saying about this is the next move. This is the name of this card is saying you'd better not. And so we have Oracle cards are telling us kind of like, you know, what's to come. There's so much fire in the car. Source is saying to you, things that go a lot better for somebody if they kind of sort of, you know, get their solar plexus chakra in alignment and not do anything that could cause that fire to backfire, right? That anger, that frustration. And so... Somebody may still have some energies in their lives. And again, I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, which means I'm talking to me. So um, talking to myself as well. It's like if you're giving a lot of energy to something that could anger and frustrate you, it's time to get your solar place. Somebody could have said something to you that really, you know, burned you or, or frustrated you or caused you to feel like you weren't good enough or you weren't this or that enough or something. And so... Source is saying, get your, get your, get your power back. Like get your power back, get your, your creative ideas back, you know, initiate. And this is, that's what this whole cycle is about. This cycle is about, um, initiating change, initiating change, initiating change. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's get ready to close this out. Let's pull some more Oracle cards and let's get ready to close it out. We got also a number card too. So let's, let's get ready to close this out, Taurus. Let's get ready to close this out. So. Wow, this is a lot of fire. Grief. Tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts. So somebody get back, you're, somebody has a loved one that's really saying to you, you've been grieving over something for a long time. And now, and so it's time for a rebirth. That's what somebody is saying. It's time for a rebirth. It's time for a breakthrough. It's time for change of a mindset. It's time for, you know, to warm up to a situation. And if you need to forgive people for whatever source is saying to you, why did you let something make you angry for so long? Like what, you know, 
And again, take everything case by case basis. Of course, obviously every Taurus is different because everybody's birth chart is different. You got a moon, rising, Venus, all the other placements in your chart. Source really wants you to stay focused, like really, really wants you to stay focused because that same fire can be put up under that additional stream of income. That same energy that could, could have been burning somebody out, that same energy can be put under somebody's additional stream of income. So stay focused. Confidence is key to success. Confidence is key to your success. Confidence, 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 not arrogance, because that's exactly how the enemy gets people through arrogance. Um, do, 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 do. Um, where other, we got another, okay, there we go, right here. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Number two, I am diplomatic, right? You have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. Number two is your number. And let's pull an affirmation card and let's go ahead and close it out. So somebody is definitely, source is really calling for somebody to be fair-minded about something because we got two here. Um, yeah, source is really calling for somebody to be fair-minded about something. You got also this right here to see in the light and darken it coming in twice, like really being fair-minded. And not and it's not surprising because we're coming up on a very fair mind, a full moon and a very fair minded zodiac sign. This is not about whether you like Libras or not. We're not talking about a person. We're talking about you and Libra share a, um, a planet Venus, your divine feminine sign, but Libra is a divine masculine sign. You're on two different elements. So source is saying, look at the good, the bad, the divine feminine, divine fem masculine in it, the seen, the unseen, the known, the unknown. There's some things that somebody doesn't know yet. And source is trying to expose all of that to you. So going into a situation with a warm heart will do, you know, give you answers that you may have been seeking. That's if it, you know, if you have to interact with certain things, but even if you don't, you know, um, here we have affirm affirmations for success. I am attracting everything I need. I am full of highly profitable ideas. I am grounded. I am connected to my highest calling. I am pushing the boundaries of the ordinary. What's for me will always be for me. I am committed to my purpose. This is what this is right here. Source really wants somebody to operate in their purpose. So you got to be committed to it because the enemy, where's the devil card? The enemy will always get you to question. You know, that's why some people are still walking around. They don't know what their purpose is. They don't know that they're supposed to, they're here on earth for a reason, right? So it's to serve source, right? So I am making necessary connections. I am connected to all that supports my highest good. I am connected to all that supports my highest good. Um, I think that's what we have for you, Taurus. Thank you for joining me and I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.